go to the app store. And uh, go to search. Right here. And then type in VNC. Click on the uh, Mocha VNC Lite. It's free. And then install it. Alright, um, then go to Google uh, and type in VNC. Go to um, the first one, realvnc.com. Go to products and uh, download software. It should be the first one. Uh, just make this up. And proceed. Oops. Alright. Click on download the first one. And Click accept and download and save it to your computer. Alright, when that is done, go to start all programs, VNC, user mode, and uh, configure. And click on configure and uh, make up your password and click OK. Then your connections should be 5900, 3600, and 5800. And click OK when you're done. Alright. Now go on your iPod. Go to the VNC program. Click on menu. Add a connection. Uh, so, um, the VNC server IP address can be uh, found on the run. Type in CMD, click OK, and then command prop will pop up. And then type in IP config, so C O N F I G, and click enter. And you should get this thing. Your IP address is right here. It's right there. So yeah. And then uh, go back to your iPod and type in your IP address in there. The VNC server port should be 5900. And your password should be the password you just typed in on the computer. Then just click, uh, click um, connect. Connect. And you should be good. But all, but an important step that people always forget to do is go to Control Panel, go to your Windows Firewall, go to this one, and add port. Type in V and C and type in five nine zero zero. Click OK and uh, OK and exit. And then this thing should be working. So as you can see. Thanks for watching.